Hello everyone, guys and gals. I've got a fast down and dirty tutorial for you today in Adobe After Effects. And what we're going to do today is place a video in the timeline and have it simulate a reflection and a shadow. Now this can be a photo or video and it's rather straightforward. So let's get started. I've got After Effects open and I've got a sample clip here. I'm going to drag that into our timeline. And I'm going to grab the corner controls and while pressing shift I'm going to scale that down. All right, shift, holding shift while you scale allows you to scale it uniformly. So with my up arrows I'm going to move this up somewhat. And I'm going to select it again on the timeline and I'm going to duplicate it by pressing control D. Now I've got two copies here. I'm going to flip this one copy and how you do that would be under layer transform flip vertical okay now while pressing shift in my down arrow I'm going to move this down and I'm going to leave a little bit of a line between the two okay so we've got us a little bit of line of separation all right while I've got that selected I'm going to apply a feather in a mask so I'll grab my rectangular mask tool and I'm going to click and drag around that layer and I'm going to tell that mask to subtract and then while I've got that mask highlighted I'm going to tell the mask feather 15 pixels okay and that's going to soften that mask just a little bit on the bottom edge I could I could even feather that mask more if I needed to Let's see, let's do, let's do that about 100 pixels, gives that a better look to it. Just helps soften it substantially. Now, we want to reduce the opacity of that uh, top layer that's going to act as a reflection. So let's knock that down to 25%, and you'll see now that it's beginning to look like a reflection. But we need a surface for the reflection to cast on. So let's, let's collapse our layers here. And go up top and do layer new solid. We'll leave it black. We're going to drag that on the bottom most of all of our layers. We're going to apply an effect to this solid, a ramp effect. So go up top under effect, generate ramp. All right. Now you've got uh, start and end of ramp and you've got little round control handles to move those posi positions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this start color just above the halfway mark here. That way it gives us a, a distant dark background and a, a white lighter foreground to cast our reflection on. Something else we can do is group this, these two video objects, so that if we move them they move and react in the same way. Select this pick whip from the second one and drag it and drop it on the top one. Okay. So now anytime we move one of our layers, you'll see that the other one's connected to it. That applies to scaling and rotation and any uh, type of movement that you might apply. So what we can do is we can take this one step further and we can simulate a shadow that's being cast by the video object here. So let's go up top and under layer, new, solid, we're going to leave it black. It will be the composition size. Answer OK. And we're going to drag that just beneath our video clip, our bottom video clip. Let's rename that by right click, clicking it, choosing rename. And we'll call that shadow. Now, while it's selected, take your pen tool, your mask tool, and we're going to simulate what would appear to be how a shadow is cast. So click two, three, four corner points, and then finally join it. Now, if we hide our mask, you'll see that we've got something that's beginning to resemble a shadow. Although it's a little bit hard, we can go into the properties of that mask and we can tell that mask to feather. Let's feather it to uh, 10 pixels. All right. 
so it softened that edge up nicely and we can also spin out the transform properties and tell that opacity to be reduced to 50 percent that way we can see through the, the mask that's representing our shadow so it's just a nice quick down and dirty way to supplement your video to uh, give it a little extra detail and perhaps if you wanted later you could even zoom into it full frame so that your video fills your entire frame. So I hope that was helpful to you guys and if you like my videos please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more in the future please subscribe. So that's it for the day and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.